All right, today is time for the uh, for the scariest part of upgrading my Beretta Special, and that is putting the Floyd Rose on. <laughs> and uh, the scariest part about that is drilling the holes for the posts. I have got some official Floyd Rose posts here, and um, making sure you get those holes drilled exactly where they need to be, and making sure they're exactly straight. That is uh, that's the scary part. <laughs> um, so. Uh, Let's get these opened. Just take a look at them. Hopefully, there's uh, something in here that tells me how big of a hole to drill. <laughs> because uh, that would just make life easier. And there. What does this say? Okay, part of back. I don't think there's anything it says. Well, that's no fun. Well, before I do any drilling, I will uh, look up online and see if I can find it. They should have something in here, though, I think. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, perfect. That will work very well. Yep, I like it. <laughs> All right, so, uh, well, we got to get the old one off. So I uh, guess that means taking strings off and um, popping it out. Then I think I'll probably just set it in there and see what it's going to look like because that's just the way I am. All right, um, I've almost got the bridge off, but before I took it all the way off, I thought I would mark where the uh, strings were crossing the saddle. So I put some tape on the uh, on the body and then just took a Sharpie and kind of marked where those are at. And maybe it'll help me when I set the Floyd, get the Floyd set up. I mean, I'm going to measure it, of course, and all that. But uh, And if it doesn't, it didn't really take any time. And, you know, I'd be, I'll be glad it's there if I do end up meeting it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to uh, keep taking the bridge off. All right, the trim is off. Um, I'm going to put it and the screws that held it in, in this uh, pedal box. <laughs> I've got so many of these boxes laying around, I might as well make, take advantage of it. Um, and then I'll label what it is. I'm just going to set it here for now, but I'll label what's in there so I don't forget. <laughs> but there we go. The bridge is off. And now just a quick sneak peek. I want to take a look at this. Oh, yeah. That is what a Beretta is supposed to look like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now I have to go through all the uh, measurements and all the figuring it out and drill the holes and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, hang on. All right, I've got everything taped off. Um, I even taped off the pickup, even though I'm going to be replacing it. I thought, you know, might as well preserve that and not get sawdust and shit in it. Um, so, yeah. Now um, we got to get it placed right. And uh, this guitar is 25 and a half inch scale. So uh, that's really what we want from the nut to uh, where the strings go. And that is uh, about where our lines are anyway. That one we might have to pull up a little bit. That one is sitting pretty good. So I'm thinking I'm going to want it up pretty close to uh, all the way up. Not quite, but close. Because we can always adjust the uh, saddles in the bridge. So, uh, so, yeah, that'll work good. That is pretty close. That one will probably have to be moved up. But uh, we want to make sure that they're even as well. So I'm going to measure to uh, the front of the bridge. And make sure that is right. It's about 25 and 3 sixteenths. That is... Yeah, that's pretty good right there. And so I'm going to take my Sharpie. Draw a line there. What's cool about that is I'm drawing on the tape. So it doesn't matter if I... You know, I'm not getting on the guitar. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Okay, now double check how that looks with the... Uh, well, with the hole in there, and uh, that is about strong half, almost nine sixteenths. Same there. So yes, that is perfect placement that way. Now we have to place it this way, and the way to do that is uh, to actually put a couple strings in, the E strings, of course. All right, we've run into a bit of a dilemma. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the uh, strings are not lining up with the neck, and I've got the bridge all the way over. So 
what that means is I'm going to have to route a little bit of this out of here to make room for this. Um, I don't need to do that right away to get the bridge set up because all that is is for the trim arm. I can actually just take that off and then we can get it set up. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take that off right now and then we can get this thing set up, lined up. And then, uh, yeah, then we should be able to, uh, to at least get it mounted. Okay, now that I've got that out of there, you can see that it's a... Uh, goes over on top of there quite a bit <laughs> all right let's get it lined up exactly I am saying that looks pretty good I'm looking right down this e-strings and they are sitting very nicely both on the uh, on the fretboard so I think right there is where I want it make sure I'm still straight with that and I'm not okay Right there. That is straight. My string's not tight anymore. There we go. And that looks pretty good there. I would say right there is where I want to be. So we'll get the Sharpie out again. Mark exactly the sides of it. I'm going to mark across here again. I'm going to mark inside those so I know exactly where those go. And yeah, I would say that is right where we're going to go. All right, I've got the trim exactly where it needs to be. And I'm going to take this stud, which I took out of the actual uh, thing that goes in and, uh, I'm going to uh, set this in here, upside down, and I'm going to lift up the bridge a little bit so it sits right where it's going to sit. Then I'm going to take the bridge off without moving that. And I'm just going to take a pen and draw around this stud, screw, post thingy. And there, now I've got a nice circle of where I need that to be. So now we do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to put this right where it was. Get that positioned. Okay, that looks good. Now we do the same thing to the other side. And I'm sure there is a better way to do this. There's probably a template you can use. There's probably... But, like I do with everything, I just kind of use what I got and that to me looks pretty good I'm going to put the bridge back in double check what that looks like um, hmm, that looks like it's there that looks no I'm gonna double check the trouble side and then we go around there all right now what does that look like okay yes that did move it over that way just a touch all right now we need to just find the exact center of those holes and yes I am eyeballing it but I think we got it they're pretty small holes so right there and right there are where I'm gonna end up drilling and uh, yes that looks pretty good I'm liking the way that looks all right this is turning out to be a little bit more work than I thought um, but uh, that's okay I'm up for it. Um, so yes, I'm going to have to, uh, I don't actually have the right size drill bit, so I'm going to have to run and get the right drill bit. And um, yeah, so uh, yeah, it's getting stretched out. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> as soon as I get uh, back with the drill bit, then we'll continue. Okay, it's a few days later and I've got all the drill bits that I need. And um, yeah, so uh, now comes the really scary part. Um, <laughs> um, hard part is going to make making sure I keep the drill straight, but um, I think I got it. I mean, I don't have to go too deep. I've got it marked. You know, I've got some tape, how deep I need to go, compared that to the 
piece that has to go in there. And um, yeah, um, oh, I did some practice holes on a scrap piece of wood, so um, I know I have the right size and that this is going to fit in there very snugly. Um, so uh, yeah, I guess I just have to get to it. All right, so this is the uh, part of the video where I'm just going to do a voiceover because um, I was filming and not worrying about talking and uh, letting you know what was going on. Uh, but um, what I'm doing right now is just starting to drill the holes. Um, and uh, I'm starting with a small drill bit. And then uh, I will work up to uh, the actual size that I need. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's where we're going right now. All right, here we are with the uh, next size drill bit. Um, I don't remember what sizes I use, uh, but uh, just wanted to gradually drill the holes so that uh, I didn't rip out too much, especially I didn't want to rip off the finish. Um, I know I have it all taped down around it, and that definitely helped, but uh, you can never be too careful when doing something like this. All right, there's the... Uh, biggest drill bit that I used um, ended up being very close to the uh, size that I needed um, you can see it's kind of wiggling the guitar out a little bit as I'm drilling catching just a touch but uh, it ended up working out pretty good all right now I'm trying to fit in the uh, inserts and it's a little bit snug so I'm taking a round file and um, just slowly working those holes a little bit bigger until I can uh, get the inserts to uh, to slide down in there nice and tight. So, uh, yeah, just a lot of uh, filing. <laughs> but um, uh, I figured it was the best way to do it because I didn't want it to uh, get too big. I figured, you know, this way I could just do a little bits at a time. A little more filing going on. We'll see uh, if the uh, studs fit here in a second, or the inserts, I mean. All right, we're trying one. And it's close. All right, I got the holes the right size, and now I'm taking this block of wood and tapping it down using the hammer and uh, just getting it down, uh, just, very, just slowly working it um, and getting them down in where they need to be. All right, got them all in, and um, now I'm putting the uh, screws back in, the actual studs, and um, we'll run that down to... Uh, where they need to be, or close to where they need to be, I should say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, I'm very surprised, or not surprised, but very happy that uh, I didn't end up chipping out big chunks of the finish or anything. So uh, yeah, that made me very happy. All right, we're putting it in. Seeing how it works, moving it, seeing if it flow, uh, moves wet, smoothly. There's the words I'm looking for. <laughs> now I'm just holding the strings up, making sure they're lined up right. And um, I'm very happy that they are lined up good. So uh, yeah, it's uh, worked out great. All right, here we are. I got it on. I put one spring in just to hold it. And... Um, it, uh, it needs a little bit of the string tension to seat it into those, onto those uh, the way you're supposed to be, but uh, yeah. All right, here I am taking a, uh, a I'm not quite sure what this bin is called, but it uh, eats the wood away very quickly. And what I'm doing here is eating away the side. So the uh, when I put the uh, trim arm assembly back in, it won't be rubbing on the uh, side of the body. So, uh, yeah, that uh, was a little bit nerve-wracking, but um, ended up working out all right. Another view of 
just working that wood away, and I would work it for a while, then I would try it, see if it still would move or not, uh, but uh, and then I just keep taking a little bit more of the time. I think we're going to try to fit the uh, trim in here. All right, try to fit it in and see how it works. I've got the arm assembly back on, and um, it appears that it's still hitting a touch. So uh, get the uh, little grinding tool out again, and I'll uh, work on it a little more. All right, better view. Trying to see how it's grinding away in there. And yeah, I didn't have to take out a lot, but uh, it took a little while because I was just doing so little at a time. And now we have arms in, or trim, I mean, and seems to be working all right. Now we'll uh, checking it from that side. And yeah. All right, it is on. And the strings are lined up good. I am having one issue though. My action is way too high, so I definitely am going to have to uh, shim the neck. And um, so, yeah, that is uh, another unforeseen uh, thing that I have to do. But, um, well, yeah, got to do it. All right, it is in. <laughs> and it is working. <laughs> the action is nice and super low. Um, I think I just got lucky with that. Um, but, yeah, have, getting, I, I had to shim the neck just a little bit. But um, the bridge is up off the body a little bit. But I put a trim stop in it, like I did on my other Beretta, and the bridge was up a little on that one anyway. So it uh, is, uh, yeah, it's working great. <laughs> Oh, that note. <laughs> I've got some adjustments to make. Um, I know I have a few intonation issues i got to deal with, and I'm going to adjust the uh, springs in the back so it uh, moves a little bit easier, but um, I'm just glad it's all set up and working because this was much more of an undertaking than I thought it was going to be. So, uh, yeah. Um, if you uh, like guitar videos, and I know you do because you're watching, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button to help you grow the channel, and you will be seeing this guitar in future videos. And I'm not plugged into my computer, so all you're getting of this guitar is um, just the room audio, whatever the microphone on this phone is. Because honestly, I didn't plan on filming tonight, but I got it done. It surprised me that it, you know, actually worked. <laughs> anyway, babbling, sorry. Um, hit the subscribe. Subscribe. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next video.